Hey guys, welcome back to another educational video. In today's topic, I want to talk about why you shouldn't eat back the calories your watch tells you you expended. So the use of these wrist worn watches is becoming increasingly more popular. And as coaches, we're often asked, how do we track the energy expenditure these devices are tracking uh, into our daily calorie needs. So many times I hear people say, today I burned 800 calories based on what my watch mentioned. Is it okay if I eat back those calories and is my weight going to stay the same? So the short answer is no. So in today's video, I'm going to explain why we don't recommend adjusting your activity levels or your daily nutrition intakes uh, just based on what your watch tells you. So first of all, let's take a step back to help with your understanding. So first of all, the coach's calorie recommendations are going to be based off best estimates. And this is based upon the information that you input during the signup flow. So unless you knew your current maintenance calories during the signup, and as such, you would have entered these, the coach is going to determine your maintenance based off any changes that occurred during your weight in that first week. And this is exactly what I would do with my own clients. So I guess the next question is, what are some of the considerations that we use to determine your maintenance calories? So the coach considers a number of things. The first is your gender, your total body weight, your fat mass and lean body mass, if you know this, uh, as well as your daily activity levels and your planned exercise. And these are some of the most important predictors of your daily energy requirements. So if these initial estimates are off in any way, you're going to see a change in your body weight. So after your first check-in, the coach is going to make an adjustment to your nutrition intakes to make sure that you stay on track with your selected goal. So here's where we talk about exercise. The most important thing is to make sure that you remain consistent with both your exercise and activity from week to week. Now, if you can do this, the coach doesn't actually need any inputs from your wrist-worn device to tell it how many calories you were burning during your exercise. Instead, any changes that occur to your weekly average body weight will be sufficient for us to determine your weekly caloric needs. So this information will also help answer my next frequently asked question. So often we're asked about what to do if you're planning on changing your weekly activity levels and should I go about making a change in the coach's settings? So a little side note, Adding in additional activity is often necessary to ensure we can continue moving forwards in our fat loss phase. And often, making more adjustments to your daily calories in order to continue achieving your weekly rate of loss can feel incredibly restrictive. So adding in additional exercise is one way to ensure that your current calorie levels remain sustainable. So if you are going to add additional cardio to your schedule, make sure that it remains a consistent part of your weekly exercise schedule. So if you continuously change your weekly activity levels, so your frequency, the intensity, the duration, your daily and weekly energy expenditure is going to differ. And this is very likely to cause your weight to jump around. So as you can see, you don't actually need to change your activity levels in any of the coach settings. So like my example earlier, if the increase in your added activity is significant enough, it's going to result in a change in your weekly average weight. And ideally, the additional activity that you include should be enough to ensure that you continue losing at the targeted rate of weight loss. And if it's not, the coach is going to give you a calorie decrease to make sure you get back on track, achieving your target rate of loss. Now, I know many of you guys really enjoy taking high calorie days to accommodate travel, hard training sessions, social occasions, but this doesn't mean that you're not allowed or you shouldn't uh, cycle your calories. So if you are somebody who enjoys calorie cycling, I suggest planning ahead, putting that high day into your calorie planner and the coach is going to adjust the other days down so that your average weekly energy expenditure remains compliant. Now here's something else you might not have realized. So let's say you did wanna do some calorie cycling for an upcoming event, travel, or a hard training session. So based on recent findings, the accuracy of these wrist-worn devices is highly inaccurate. So a recent study published in 2020, which examined the validity of 12 wearable devices for determining physical activity energy expenditure during one standardized day in a metabolic chamber and 15 free living days using the doubly labeled water method found that most devices do not provide accurate estimates of energy expenditure when compared to the gold standard. So they and others have concluded that these devices significantly underestimate total energy expenditure and the severity of these errors is different depending on the activity type. So if you use this information to determine whether you should be making any adjustments to your nutrition intakes, it's likely to be highly inaccurate and actually interfere with your overall progress. So a 2020 systematic review titled How Well Do Activity Monitors Estimate Energy Expenditure 
found that devices with a heart rate sensor often produced better estimates than devices using accelerometry only. However, this was not consistent across all activities. So again, this just further explains why we don't recommend adjusting your nutritional needs based on these devices. So to wrap this video up, I'll conclude with the following statement. So when it comes to achieving your physique goals, whether it's fat loss or building muscle, the most important thing that you should do is be consistent with your weekly exercise and nutrition intakes. Further, energy expenditure determined by these wrist-worn devices is likely to be highly inaccurate and it will vary depending on the activity type. And finally, the coach doesn't need you to make adjustments to your weekly activity levels. It will be able to make nutritional adjustments based on the changes to your weight alone. Your job is to be consistent. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and we'll see you next time. That's it. <laughs> please keep that last bit in there. <laughs>